Hi, this is Gil Robes. I'm on Sketchbook Pro 6 once again, and this is a sketch that I did just really quickly uh, a little while ago. And using the brushes, I, I just want to come on and talk about the brushes. A previous video I had, I said that I would do a later video and, and just show you what I've learned so far about um, the brushes in this program. And this is a, a I'm going to do like a little speed demo later on after. I introduce these brushes. Um, let me close this. It's already saved. Um, you, okay. And just to quickly go over the brushes that are here, and then this uh, this little tool, the brushes tools toolbar. Um, this is uh, these are the brushes that come, the standard brushes, and. Uh, this is uh, the brush properties over here. It's going to change. Some of these brushes have more properties than others. Um, I can edit the paintbrush. I can choose uh, what type of uh, uh, brush I'm using here. You know, um, I can change the size and the opacity of it. Okay and that's uh, your standard brush those are the changes you can make to it and here you have uh, these brushes this is a synthetic soft round brush and again you can change the size opacity and paint load here if you see the kind of strokes this brush is making it seems to either drag or, or actually pick up some of the white in the background now if you don't want it to do that you can change it and that will begin to go away you can also uh, build up on it with these short brush strokes you can change the size of it of course in well, too big there let's go for 12 is fine change the size of it of course and uh, you know like I said if you want to get rid of that picking up the background it just uh, kind of feels like an oily brush these all kind of do the same thing to some degree if you uh, you see it's uh, picking up on the white but you can build on it and this is just a, a larger version of that. They have different textures, of course. Um, the brush that I like to use most is this one, the Synthetic Coarse Angler Brush. Now, to me, this brush feels like a more, the way it's spaced out and everything, and the texture of it feels more like a dried brush. And I'm able to build on that. And to me, it gives me that feeling that I'm actually painting in oils, and I can uh, like I enjoy using that brush the most. Uh, over here, you have your smear brushes, and uh, it's obvious what they are. You can kind of smear things and, and make them blend and so forth different sizes and different textures and also you can change the size the opacity and the strength of that brush if you go further down what you have here you have flat bristle brush and uh, and change that paint load which I think is kind of neat and uh, um, this is like the same that coarse angular brush I must have put down that down that one down there by accident and uh, these other brushes right here these uh, you you notice you have more of uh, choices on these as far as uh, uh, the presets you can change the pressure the size with the pressure or with heavy or light pressure 
you can randomize that you can change the opacity with heavy or light pressure and randomize that you can uh, also change the, the way the brush uh, brush looks with the hue randomization saturation brightness so forth you can also um, change the roundness um, rotation of the brush the spacing of the brush and so forth uh, you can change the edges from soft hard and solid um, so in this brush there you go and uh, this brush is one I actually changed because I wanted it to look more like uh, like an ink brush or like drawing with a pen nib you know I wanted to make marks that are similar to those um, and I change it so that I can get it really really uh, fine lines or I can get these really heavy lines and So just to get it to look like a uh, a brush drawing, I did the same thing with this do-it-yourself brush, which is similar. Yeah. So, anyway, those are the brushes. Those are. Um, Oh, one more thing. Oh, right here on the top right hand corner you have a, a, a whole library of brushes that are not in your toolbar. You have your basics and, and so forth and uh, you have uh, textures and shapes and spatter brushes and smudge brushes and you have a whole library here. And if none of them suit you, you can also create a new brush set or a new brush copy a brush and so forth and you can uh, uh, creating new brushes is very easy you uh, just uh, go to that and um, you select that and over here it gives you a choice of your standard marker smudge whatever and uh, you say synthetic paint and you can either imp gives you a choice of either importing it or creating a new one like I say creating is easy there it goes right there and uh, you can change the properties right here you can just pick whatever you want to change uh, the size of it you know and the opacity the roundness of it you know the rotation you do what you want to change that brush size uh, random so far if I don't want to change that you can change the spacing of the brush you know and of course the paint load so the darker you go and uh, you know the darker your stroke will be or the more true to the color your stroke would be well anyway then afterwards you would take it and just drag it in here and uh, and 
you've created a, I've already created a new brush here I don't want it really so I would delete it okay I don't need it and uh, so that's that that's uh, how you do the brushes now I'm gonna go ahead and let this go into that little speed uh, demo with uh, the sketch that I showed you at first and um, and what I did with that sketch is I used a lot of these brushes I started actually with some of the Coptic markers the pencil the Coptic markers and uh, the, the s angler brush and smear brush and so forth and I just kinda just threw it all in there just to, to quickly do that I can actually still color it I can another later video I can talk about using the layers to, to glaze color over it um, but anyway that's it that's uh, the brush demo I hope you enjoy the speed painting